you cheating was one of the, mm -hmm. the themes on the show. I guess you had a guy that you were seeing mm -hmm. and you had gotten him an apartment near um, nearby. <laughs> I had met him and Drew around the same time. Okay. And um, it was actually around the same time my boyfriend had passed away. So I was, you know, confused. I didn't know what I wanted or, you know, who I wanted to be with. And I, we were just friends and he, you know, he needed a favor from me. And I did it, but we were, you know, we were just friends. But Drew was uncomfortable with it. And of course, now looking back, I see why he would be uncomfortable. And that's a situation that I regret and that, I, you know, a mistake that I'll never make again. Okay. You were just friends. Yeah. But you got him an apartment. Yeah, it was just a favor that I did for him. I mean, you know, outside looking in. No, I totally get. No, now, now I know that it looks, it looked shady. It looked weird, and Drew was uncomfortable with it. And him, from him being uncomfortable, I should have completely cut the relationship off. Okay. But I was still very confused about Drew. I was still very confused about his whole situation, and I didn't know what I wanted. So I was kind of, you know, keeping my options open. Mm -hmm. Now, Drew said that he saw you and the guy. Mm -hmm. I guess coming out of the apartment. No. He had seen you guys in the car together? He saw us in a car together, driving yeah. to breakfast, yeah. Okay, I guess that's it. Yeah. Okay. And he, he said that after that, he was pretty much done with the relationship. Um, yeah, I guess. That's, you know, that was kind of the last straw, I guess. Yeah. So you guys were officially broken up after that? Um, we kind of tried to make it work after that, but I guess that was kind of, you know, the straw that broke the camel's back, I guess. Are you still with the guy? No. There was a rumor that you were seeing a, a pro football player? No, John, we're John? not seeing each other, we're just friends. So um, this is Jonathan Dowley? Yeah, no, 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 we're not, we're not dating. But you know each other? Yeah, we know each other. Okay, Yeah. but this is not the guy in the apartment? No, that's not, that was not Mr. Miami, jo everybody, it fits because... Jonathan Dowling can probably get his own apartment, I'm just saying. Yeah, and, yeah, <laughs> definitely, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is a different guy. This is not the Miami guy? No, that's not Mr. Miami. Okay, okay. But you guys do know each other, but you guys are... Me and Jonathan? Yeah, yeah. we know each other. Okay, but, but this is a whole different situation. Yeah. Okay. So looking back on this experience, what do you think? <sighs> I think it was... Um, it was a growing experience for me, honestly. It taught me a lot about uh, myself and how I, you know, might come across to, you know, a lot of people. And it taught me kind of not to care about what people think. And kind well, of... it's your first time in the public eye. Yeah, it's my first time, and it was yeah. extremely, extremely scary, and it yeah. was very, very hard for me in the beginning. But um, yeah, it taught me a lot about myself and about the kind of relationship I want. And you know, sure. it was kind of like a growing experience. Well, I mean, I know Fizz had kind of been in the entertainment field since like right. five years old. So he's used something. to it. He's used yeah. to being in, in the public eye and people, yeah. you know, talking bad about him and saying things that maybe aren't true, and yeah. kind of judging him. So he's used to it, but I'm not, you know. Right. I mean, so what was it like, so, you know, going from just, you know, a regular girl, <laughs> a regular LA girl to having all these people around the world have an opinion on you? It was horrific and I hated horrific? it. Horrific? Yeah. And it was, it. Okay. it was really, really hard. It was well, really hard. What were some of the worst things that people said? Like, like you're a whore, you're a thought, that thought word, like I cannot even <laughs> hear the word without like freaking out. <laughs> I hate it so much. I'm like, it doesn't even make sense. Like. You know nothing about me. I'm not the thought. No one knows anybody that I've been with or slept with or had a relationship. You can't even name one person. But except, except for Fizz. Except for Drew. That's one person that was my boyfriend right. for years. Yeah, exactly. But we can't say the same about the rest of them. So, and I'm I'm the one that they you know that they pick on and they. You think they pick on whatever. you? Yes, they bully me. His fans are crazy. Is it his fans or the love and hip hop community? I think it's his fans. Oh really? Yeah, they go so, so, hard oh, so the for B2K him. Fans. Yeah, B2K fans are. Really? Yeah, they're like ride or die until <laughs> <to> the end. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're uh, huh, that's interesting. Yeah, like that's interesting because I mean, really, because B2K broke up ten years ago. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> but they, they, you know, they stuck through. They're waiting for him. They're, so. they're waiting for him to come back. All right. right. Okay. Fair enough. Um, what were some of the positive things from from being on the show? <sighs> the positive things were, I learned from my mistakes, and it was able. You know, it was. It helped me kind of, I guess, get the things that I wanted to get out there, like my brand, you know, my jewelry line, 18K. So that, you know, that's the positive. Okay. But I'm, you know, trying to focus on the positive right now. I'm kind of over the whole me and Drew breakup scandal. Right, because you go to a FITM, I, I think? go to FITM. It's a fashion school in downtown, yeah. Right, yeah, I'm familiar. Okay, it's a good school. Yeah, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I love so it. what are your plans? You know, I mean, do you plan on continuing 
reality shows or anything else like that or do you just want to focus on fashion and, and some of the other stuff you're doing I mean I don't know I don't know what you know the future holds for me but I do want to focus on my clothing line and focus on the things that I have going on right now and we'll see we'll see what happens with you know love and hip-hop